is 7 News. Tonight, police try to take back control of Christmas Island, arriving with ammunition and tear gas and more reinforcements on the way. A Perth bikey leader shot as gang tensions grow. Japan warns the threat level has increased as radiation continues to spew from its crippled power plant. And a fiery comeback for Eagles star Daniel Kerr. From the studios of Seven Perth, Emmy Kabansky. Good evening. The detention centre on Christmas Island remains under federal police control tonight as authorities attempt to keep order after Thursday night's destructive fire and riots. With tensions still high, Seven News reporters Jeff Parry and Grant Taylor are on the island watching events as they unfold. Tonight, more federal police are on the way. First to Jeff Parry. Jeff, you witnessed the arrival of more asylum seekers this morning just as authorities were trying to fly others out. Yes, Emmy, lots of comings and goings here on Christmas Island. The latest arrival, 74 Australian federal policemen being flown in by the Royal Australian Air Force in a few hours' time. It's part of a massive law enforcement build-up to finally assert total control and to let the detainees here know who's in charge. Gearing up for a battle, should it?